good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever it is that you've decided to tune in and watch this. So this is Light E Collects coming at you with another video. And this is a video that I've been desperate to get out all week. Um, you've absolutely no idea how badly I've had to sit on this and wait for this. Um, I might be shooting the gun a little bit early, but never, the mar never mind. Um, I'll explain all as we go along. Just a quick update, um, key rings and pens are being sent out to um, channel members tomorrow. They're being packaged tonight, so we'll be sent off tomorrow. Um, you've just got, what, about a week left um, to join the channel, to be in with the chance of winning a 2020 Team GB. Um, so if you'd like to do that, just click the join button uh, 199 a month and it gets you um, into a draw to win a cool coin this month's one is the team GB and as I say you also get the key rings and the pens etc sent to you so basically you know you're signing up for nothing really uh, for what it costs okay so <laughs> let's move on then because um, I should imagine from the title of this um, a lot of you are going to be a bit intrigued okay so this is going to tell you how I purchased a Miss Tittlemouse 50 pence silver proof a 2008 Peter Rabbit silver proof and a Jeremy Fisher 50p silver proof so let me just <coughs> we'll just pop them all out while we have a quick chat about uh, exactly how this has come about. Now, if anybody else has uh, managed to beat this deal, I would be incredibly surprised. So, for those of you that follow the channel, um, you will have seen that the very nice man over at some... Um, the Great British Con House put up a video about me, I don't know, a week to ten days ago, um, accusing me of all manner of things and what have you, trying to, I don't know, never mind. And briefly, I uploaded a video in response to that. Um, the video stayed up for an hour or two <coughs> um, before I took it down. Um, so I realised I'd actually named somebody um, incorrectly and rather than cause any offence to the person concerned um, it was easy to take the video down. Initially the idea was going to be take the video down, edit it and pop it back up again. But the longer I went on and the longer I thought about it I was just, to be honest, I don't need the hassle, um, you know, um, most of us in this community know what the man is like, um, so there's just no need to to to, to issue a response. Um, so the video was left down. Why am I referencing that video? Um, very importantly, in that video, I showed you. Let me just try and open this up. I showed you his eBay store and how basically you go on there and you click on a silver proof. Um, oh, sorry, this is because it's there. There's evidence that it's actually on its way to being delivered at the moment. Uh, so let's pick one. Let's pick the sailor roster. Okay, so what you do is you come on to here, and I showed you all how to do this, and click make an offer, and you make an offer of one pound, and send the message. Review offer, submit. And those of you that saw the video will have seen that the offer got accepted. Now, what this is supposed to be is anybody that has um, 
outstanding money owed to them from um, the Great British Con House. Um, he, he gives you credit, tells you to go on there, make an offer of one p uh, one pound for an item on his store. He will accept the offer and deduct the money from money that is owed to you. So why is this important? This is important because I have never had an investment with Ian or the Great British Con House. I have never bought into any of his shares. I have never actually bought into anything that uh, he attempts to do. So what happened, um, I think, I don't know, about six weeks ago, I guess, um, he contacted me and said that um, bygones be bygones, uh, he was going to give me a £200 investment when I was working for him. Um, he's a man of his word, so he'd give me the 200 quid. I spent it immediately on his store. Um, got some 50p's, got a few other bits and pieces, and basically my balance was zero when I made the video. So, Ian and the con house blatantly thought that I had credit with them and allowed the purchase, I believe it was of Miss Tittlemouse, to go through. So I thought, well, this is quite interesting. Let's see if we can put another one through. So I then went for Jeremy Fisher. And I put an offer in of a £1 for Jeremy Fisher. I then got a message back from Mr Conman himself that um, just asked me um, something along the lines of what exactly do you think your outstanding balance is? So I just said, well, enough to cover the purchase, something along them lines. Um, he, he got a bit funny with me for two or three days. Um, and I, I just played along with it. Um, again, I was asked what I thought my balance was and I just plucked a figure out of the air and said, don't know, 200 to 250 quid. His response was, leave it with me for a couple of days, I'll check it out and I'll come back to you. A couple of days passed and uh, he comes back to me, uh, hasn't been able to check it out, so clearly he doesn't keep any records um, himself. But it said to me that he'd honour the purchase or the offer of one pound. So first up we got Miss Tittlemouse for a pound, and then we got Jeremy Fisher for a pound. So, hey, let's test this and see how far we can go. So, a third offer goes in on to Peter Rabbit, munching on his radish. Lo and behold, a message comes through. I will authorise this sale, but this will be the last one. I believe your balance to be zero after this. Hey, more than happy, mate. More than happy. Crack on. Let me have that third P uh, Beatrix Potter 50p silver proof for a pound. So basically, that is how I have got myself three silver proofs um, for um, one pound each. At no point did I have any money outstanding with um, the Great British Con House. Um, I've literally not interested in them whatsoever. Um, as far as I'm concerned, well, I think everybody knows my views on him and um, everything else that he, he does. So for anybody else that is interested in having a crack at this, um, I say to you, get yourselves on there now. Um, there's the name on there good hyphen condition hyphen coins and I mean everything on there is horrendously overpriced anyway um, there's you know there's absolutely no way about that they're horrendously overpriced um, but the man has absolutely no idea who he owes money to and who he doesn't and you know I just think it's 
um, quite amusing that I've managed to go on and get three of these for um, one pounds. Um, let me just see if I can find this for you, just so I can check um, and show you my purchases. There we go. Uh, Silverproof Pleat a Rabbit Munching a Carrot bought on the 22nd of August for a pound. Silverproof Miss Tittle Mouse purchased 22nd of August, one pound. Silverproof Jeremy Fisher, the 16th of August for one pound. So you can see, that's literally all I have paid for them. And I absolutely, on, on my life, on everything, I guarantee the man did not owe me a single penny. So I urge you, if ever you have done business with this man, get on that good condition coins on eBay and put in offers of a pound on everything you see on there that you like. Um, because he has no idea who he owes money to and who he doesn't. On my life, he did not owe me a single penny. Have I done anything illegal? Absolutely not. What I have done is exploit his eBay store. He has set it up in such a manner that you offer one pound and he accepts it if he owes you money. It's not my fault that he's not keeping records and doesn't know how much he owes people. That's totally irrelevant. Um, the fact that he's got it set up to accept offers of a pound you know, why not exploit it? So I literally, I urge anybody there that has ever done any business with this man, go over there and put in offers of a pound on absolutely everything. If he comes to you and says, how much credit have you got? Tell him you got enough to cover it. The man is an absolute moron. And just to finish, um, I have been in touch with eBay and explained all of this to eBay as to how he is avoiding paying all of the eBay fees and everything else um, by doing this. And I, again, I would urge anybody else to do that. Um, it would be easier doing that to request a callback than it is to actually send in a message. Um, but this isn't, you know, this isn't a video of hate um, out to the man. This is just saying, hey, What's it like when the shoe's on the other foot, you know? Um, thank you very much for my three silver proofs for one pound each. I'm absolutely overjoyed with it. So thank you very much. Um, be interested to see some of the comments on this. Um, I'm expecting probably some of his followers to, um, you know, try and give me hell um, or whatever. But, you know, I don't really care. Um, he set up a, a, a way to scam people and avoid paying fees and he's just been caught out himself, hasn't he? Um, so it's really not my problem. He needs to keep a better record. So please do um, hit the thumbs up if you've liked this video. Um, by all means, share it and please do leave a comment down below in the section because I'd love to know what... Uh, people's views are on this so thank you very much for watching peace love and respect to everybody you all stay safe and i'll catch you again real soon